we are going over a Shibano Toremaru game. Shibano Toremaru. Shibano Toremaru is black, or is white, sorry. I know. Ow. Shibano Toremaru is white. And he is against a Taiwanese professional Nindan. So the question is, what will he do versus the professional Nindan? And I got bad news. His answer might look a little familiar. You might have seen this answer somewhere before. You might have seen this somewhere before. 4433 as white. Ah, uh, it looks like. It looks like Shibano might be abandoning the influence for the, 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 the new AlphaGo stuff. Now, I hope that's not true. In my heart, I hope that's fake news. Because Shibano was a god. Going off with a style that everyone would be like, you crazy! But he was playing it anyway. Let's see how this continues. Got a low approach from his opponent. Confirmed. 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 He's... He's, uh... He's been replaced. Google kidnapped Shibano Toromaru because he was playing a different style than everybody else. And they made him into an android. I think the Japanese government should be made aware of, uh... Uh, of uh, what, what Google has done. I'm pretty sure it's I illegal to, you know, kidnap a Japanese national and turn them into a computer. <sighs> but yeah, here we go. 3-3 three, three now. 3-3, three, three, he's giving away influence instead of taking it for himself and, like, making a thing. Ah, oh, so, so sad. So sad. But alright. Black drops down. You guys know how this all goes, right? Gonna Hane extend. But Black doesn't extend. Black double Hanes. Black wants his corner back. How interesting. How interesting. Black wants his corner back. And as Black wants his corner back, a light goes on in Shibano's head. A calling, as, as they say. That siren call of the influence demanding his return. We're not going to live in the corner. No, 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 no. We're going to give up the corner since our opponent offered it to us. He helped us. He helped us remember who we truly are. So we're going to give up the corner for the outside influence as we see here and then approach. Okay. Okay. This is, this is starting to go somewhere. This is starting to go somewhere. We've, we're not, though, admittedly, trying to build between two corners, we know is usually not a good idea. Uh, generally, we don't want to give up the territory between two corners to develop the middle. It's usually not worth as much. But let's see how it goes. Black backs off. White extends. Getting more of that yummy, yummy influence. Losing the shape point against him here that Black had for the throw in. And maybe some Hane situations here and forcing captures and things like that. 
black says, no, you don't. I am not going to allow you to build this. I'm going to fight over your influence, sir. White attaches to settle, but what will black do? Black plays the Atari, and white connects. He does not go full bleep bloop style and be like, okay, I'm just going to live in your corner now and get territory. He is going to keep getting some of the some of the, some of the outside it looks like. So black extends so we don't get a chance to live back in the corner. White extends cutting off this little uh, pincering stone. But the area is just so huge that black feels relatively comfortable with the idea that he can live there. You're playing this on a real board. You could like fit your hand in this, in the amount of space here, right? So that usually means that you can get some kind of invasion or reduction there. Now that's a really, 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 really bad, like, way of determining if you can invade something. Though admittedly, it would be kind of amusing to do in a tournament face to face. Like, don't count. Just place your hand on the board to see which area is larger, and then invade it. I I would I would like to see videos of that. Not really. Don't do it. So okay, here we have this. Black comes out. White comes out. We can't hane or we lose stones because this is one, two, like three cutting points. Not good. We do the hand rule at our go club. Nice. And I'll turn. Yep, the head rule. The head rule is two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now black is not an amateur. Black is a professional. An amateur would probably play here. An amateur would be like, you, you cannot kill me. I do not think that you have it in you. My group, you can attack it. It will be worth nothing. This happens a lot in amateur games. That for whatever reason, thank you for the follow, that for whatever reason, amateurs just don't respect how much a fight is worth and how much you're going to give up if your opponent can suddenly say, hey you, yeah you, go that way. And so you go that way, then he's like, hey you, defend yourself. And so you defend yourself. Then he's like, hey you, go back and live. Like, well, I'm, I'm alive now, so you got nothing from that, right? But no, you got a wall spanning like half the board. And that can be very, very valuable. Like maybe there's Aji elsewhere too. Maybe there's Aji over in here that we can use. We don't want that coming back to life. Maybe this area is still open. We can like threaten to build with the wall that we have, and that could get out of potential. That can like kind of go crazy. A lot of amateurs, just because they can live somewhere, doesn't mean they should play away and be forced to live somewhere. That's one thing that you want to try to avoid in your games at all costs. So we jump out because he ain't no amateur. So we jump here as well. Now, and we can't, so it's okay. White plays away and so far we have no idea what any of the right was useful for. Not really sure, so far we didn't really get very much there from Shibano because he broke the territorial style and went for the influence again. Clearly, he's going to pay for this. Make some territory. White uh, forces black to make a base. And now, 
Don't you know it? Shibano proves we can never hate him. Shibano proves we can never hate him. Sure, he sometimes gets confused and plays the 3 3. But Shibano knows how to use influence. He's going to attach to his opponent to get stronger because there's a group on the right hand side that seems to be in a spot of trouble. Black Hanes bravely and fearlessly. White's like, you can live. I just want more of that influence, baby. You know what I want. Again. Going for all of the greed. White connects. Black connects here to maintain connection to these stones rather than like something like this and getting disconnected here and potentially losing them. Same thing here. So we connect here to make sure we have connection still. Which means, honey, influence. Hmm. Looks like we're going somewhere here. I'll honey at the head of two stones. Give me more of that influence. Black honey's back, white cuts to create more weak groups. The more weak groups he has in the middle, the more his influence is going to be worth. Because just attacking one thing that can live, or one thing that's not completely alive, doesn't mean we can't stop it from living. But if there are two or more things in the middle of the board that need life, maybe we're getting somewhere with this. Black fearlessly returns cut for cut. Because this ladder has to be careful. Threaten to cap. Now we're fighting over the ladder and the top group simultaneously. This is suddenly getting a much more interesting. We have to be careful because if we Hane, the next normal move is to Hane back. And if we respond there, what happens to that ladder? So black goes with plan B, poke all the things. Connects, gets cut. Looks like now we're getting killed, chat. Anybody know how we don't get killed here? Anyone have any idea how we don't get killed here? This is probably a Don's only question, I'm thinking. It's tough for cues. This this would be really tough for cues, and apparently apparently tough for nine Don's too. According to what I'm seeing. According to what I'm seeing. Peep? Peep where? You might have it, actually. Gamma go, cut at Q17. If that's what you mean by the peep, yes. Because now, liberty shortage, right? And we ask which way our opponent's going to Atari. This shape here, this whole corner thing, always remember this cutting point. It is so cool. Because if we play here, whoops, shite. Um, if we play here, dang it. Yeah, I messed up the tree, whatever. If we play here, then this is Sente. And now we're alive, right? So we're going to play here, which means this is a forcing move. Because if this extends, the three stones are dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as long as you know this cut point is here, you can start to see the Aji. And this track is amazing. So yeah, as long as you see that, then we start to see the Aji. So all right, all right, all right. It's starting to come together, starting to come together. 
We go there. And now, things are a little bit less certain. Do you dare cut through? Do we dare? White says, don't do it. You cut through me. I'm a live. Right? If we cut through this, we can Atari it and kill this stone and be alive. So we're trying to make this Atari into an Atari, so at least we take the two stones. But white's fighting back. Now we can push through. We can't do the Atari because our stones are in Atari, so we have to connect. And now black connects. Hmm. Are we alive or not? That's a really good question. What if our stones are dead? Black white extends, says you can kill me if you hane, but if you do, I'm going to Atari you, you're going to connect, I'm going to drop down, you're going to bend, I'm going to throw in, you're going to extend, I'm probably going to throw in again here, and then make my eye. At best you can hope for, like, is Seki. So black bails on that idea, so white's like, I get to live. Guess whose middle sucks? I'm seeing a bunch of weak stones there, little man. This is what happens when you give Shibano influence. All right, going after the middle. Just following. Defending his weak stones. Keep in mind, this is the middle he's now building. Screw these stones. Don't get caught up on these stones and like, I have to kill the top or the right. No, you can still develop this. Where's the territory for black? Here and here. If this gets developed, that's still way more than black was getting, right? That's still way more than black was getting. So black's like, I can't give that up either, or I'm screwed. So we're gonna ex we're gonna save all the things. Hane head of three is denied. Liberty shortages. Hello, Badukbum. Hane at the head of three is again. Proverbs are amazing, man. Proverbs are amazing. Responds, defends is defend, 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 which is good. Trying to counterattack. Asks a question, can, are you going to be stupid and connect here? Answer to that is no. Not giving you anything, go away. How's your life looking? My life's looking fantastic. Are you certain of that one? Rut row. Now we're in trouble. Because L10 was supposed to be Sente. We played it so white doesn't get all of the middle. It's supposed to be Sente against this group, but white says no it's not. So now we have to find out who's telling the truth. It's a mystery. Someone just bluffed. Someone on this board is bluffing, and only reading will tell us who it was. Who is bluffing? Is white really in trouble, or is black really in trouble? Well, we get to take for extra in, uh, liberties. Not going for it. Okay. Reduces. 
liberty against a group, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. That's an issue. Threatening the same, one, two, three, four, nothing's changed. I've heard this story before. One, two, three, ha <laughs> uh, crap. We're never getting ahead of, we're never, we're never ever getting ahead, are we? We're, it's, it's, it's always four. It's always four. We played here and it was four. We played here, it was, it was four. It's still four. It's still four. So we're gonna play here. <laughs> now, one, two, three, four. Okay, it's fine. We have an I. That means more than four. That's a problem. But we can play here, and then insides. More than four. <laughs> now we have more than four. Now we have more than four. But now we also have a tiny little co. It's so small you'll never know it's there. Because he was trying to get his opponent to go and like go five. Then he could more comfortably take this. But he didn't. So now we now we're co. There you go. This is the kind of co that you don't tell your grandchildren about. It, it frightens them. They won't sleep at night. Because there are so many co threats to try to escape. Here's number one. Oh, you answered it? Okay. Black says, I'm gonna c I'm gonna go underneath you and get to safety. White doesn't white doesn't care. White's going after the middle, remember who cares about this group? Remember when we began all of this? We we weren't trying to kill this or this. It was the middle. Someone's forgotten what we're fighting for. Sad face. So, unfortunately for Black, he can't even try to connect underneath and make another eye. He can't do any of that. He has to go back and make sure this doesn't die. Because there's still... It's too much! He's alive. Now Black had better go back over here. He's threatening to try to kill everything. That ain't gonna work. Try to Atari. Gonna connect that up. White connects. Black simply kill- or, or sorry, Black connects. White kills the Cutting Stone with a, uh, a little bit of a net. Pokes does not lose sight for a minute of what's being fought for. It's like you're trying to connect up this stone when this group doesn't even have a second to eye yet? Is you crazy? We don't care about that. He can, this is a good trade. He can save his one cutting stone and everything else will just die. Here it goes. Here it goes. Who was right? Who was wrong? Who was greedy? And who was not? There we go with that. Table shape for the win. He's threatening to play here. But we just push, block, Atari. Doesn't work. Connect up, connect, table defense, and we're fine. You could probably poke here 
and you would just connect here. And that doesn't push through and cut anything. So the top is now all dead. Ah, but at least we, at least we can, you know, kill off two stones in the middle of the board. Alas, that's not going to be enough. And black resigns. We were scared at first, admittedly. We thought that maybe, we thought that maybe Shibano had been taken over and they put some kind of robot in his place. However, he's still in there. He's still in there. They did something to him, but he's still in there, folks. Don't worry about a thing. Good old Shibano still in there. And if you show him how to get influence, he will make you look foolish. So, I hope you enjoyed the game. hope you enjoyed today's stream. My stomach has been growling all throughout this game, so I'm going to cut my stream short uh, today and get something to eat, because I'm really, really hungry. As always, take care, everyone.